Hi, welcome back. It's um, Lizzie Slot Harbour and today I'm going to show you how to create these uh, cut, tuck and fold cards which I've kind of got very known for. Um, these cards, um, as you can see here, um, look intricate but they're actually so easy to put together and we're using the spell binder um, metal dies to achieve this effect okay so this is one version here and um, that's the inside that's the outside and um, um, the secret is by careful selection of cardstock and decorative papers you will get an uh, outstanding effect that's one just to show you a different one that's the other okay so um, the dies the metal dies look like this okay I keep them on a handy magnetic board um, this one made this one okay This die made that die, uh, that card. Right, so let me show you the um, cards, different kinds of cardstock. So you need to look for cardstock or decorative paper um, which has. Um, definitely distinct differences in the color all right and then that you need to marry with um, different cardstock to achieve the contrasts okay so this is paper from graphic 45 I like their um, designs that's also graphic 45 you see the distinct differences another graphic 45 yes I kind of like this see the differences you get the idea okay so what I'll do now is show you the concept of working this out, depending on the um, size of cardstock you're going to be using, um, um, you need to uh, buy these inexpensive um, cards that come with an envelope. And sometimes I don't use the actual um, card for being the actual card itself I actually use it as the layering process so looking at the die that's how big it's going to be on the card itself so we need to cut the card uh, sorry the the decorative paper smaller than that Checking the width of the card on the ruler, it's five and a half inches the card. So I'm going to make this say, uh, sorry, is it five and a half? No, it's five. So say four and a half inches. So you take your decorative paper, put it in four and a half inches. So now you need to grab your prepared cut uh, of uh, decorative paper. Put the I like to put it uh, the die metal die cut side down. Adjust it. Make sure it's centered, and then use um, 
washi tape or masking tape, whatever you are comfortable with. Just stick it to the paper to avoid any movement. And then stick it onto um, your platform. And again, I'm using a bit more tape. You can see I recycle my tape here. It's very funny. But yeah, you get that. A bit of a frugal person here. To see whether or not it's cut all the way through and I can feel that it hasn't all right so what you do is replace it down and you know although that's why the wash washi tape holding it down is so important you know right and then use recycle um, cardstock if you want you know um, as a, a shim layer so say for example you know we can start off with um, one layer that's actually quite snug let's have a look now yeah it looks like it's cut properly all right so what i do now is remove all the Remove masking tape carefully, or the washi tape carefully. I mean, the blue stuff is the uh, painter's masking tape um, because you don't want the pattern to tear off. Okay, there you go, and as you can see. It comes apart quite easily. All right, so there, move this away. So that's one section. Use a piercing tool or a blade to gently ease it out bearing in mind it's a lot of detail cuts in here already oops now you see I tore that there it's not a not the end of the world because you can fix it and that's one of the bonuses I can actually show you here how to fix it. The little bit of patience that's required to do these cards is well worth the investment in time. And you see even the more experience of us with this uh, technique still has to be careful. Alright, so there you go. So where the tear was, which is there, we'll just leave it for now. Alright, so now I'm going to fold these back. All you do is just bend them over, tuck under. So we've done the cut, so this is the fold. Can you see? Fold. Tuck under. Just trying to make sure that it's a good angle for the camera. you fold it all the way all right this particular one hasn't cut well that's fine I will 
get a cutting mat and I'll complete that. So sometimes, you know, you just have to be aware of the different uh, hiccups along the line. But just see the once it's folded and tucked under, it's smooth. Right, so you can see here that it'll look better once it's got a contrasting color underneath it. That everything's been folded over and I just got to make ensure everyone's tucked after I get the scissors and complete this. My beautiful assistant here has uh, helped me. My assistant. Come on, sweetie. Get up. <laughs> All right. So, um, I've got a cutting board, just a, not my normal one, the smaller one that I use. And I'm trying to find the section where it didn't cut well, which is here. So you can either use, this one's partially cut, so I could use the scissors for that. Okay, so that one's fixed and the other one is not cut at all and this one definitely needs a cutting blade so be careful when you use a cutting blade and follow the lines because um, this is a, a very accurately cut design you don't you know any um, deviations from the design will show up okay so that's one level that's why I said um, earlier, you have to make sure that every section has been cut before you take the washi or masking tape off. Okay. All right, there you go. All right, check, 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 check. I'm checking to see, make sure all the folds are done and tucked under okay that's all done so there you go you can see it better this way now in the center these petals um, need to be tucked layered over each other and um, I have found originally I used to leave it curled nicely and you know, so it stands out and all that. But when you post it in a meal, you want it to be flat. That one hasn't cut well. There you go. Okay, all of these haven't cut well. Right, so I'm just going to pause the video so that I can cut all of these with the with the, the surgical blade or the cutting blade and then come back and show you that I folded it okay so I've cut them and I continue folding now the very last one is a little bit tricky you just fold it but to get it tucked under the first one you need to lift it up and tuck it under okay so there you go, that's it completed. Right, now we need to fix up the tear earlier. I, I like to use a little bit of glue. These, this glue uh, dries clear. Uh, what glue is it? It's um, a PVA glue that woodworkers use and it's available at all hardware stores. Okay, it's, it's what they call white glue, you know, it's wet. And it's very forgiving. It gives you a little bit of time to reposition stuff. All right, so that's done. So now what we need to do is glue that onto the cut.
card the layer and all I do is I just dob 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 on the the PVA glue now this PVA glue I have decanted into these fine tip little bottles uh, which you can get at most online stores or or your local scrapbooking stores mine is made by a company called Stampendous in USA okay so you can see all the dobs of glue there and then all you do is position it down I've learned that you I, you work out where you want to position it and then put it down straight down I've used the nine o'clock and three o'clock points as a guide like so okay and then using a corner punch and this corner punch is available from Mavi Uchida USA okay and then the card opens that away the cards I think five and a half inch by five and a half inch just double check yep works well so you can use double-sided tape if you want I'm just using glue this time how forgiving it is you can wiggle it around a bit okay so now what I like to do is actually use these rhinestones and um, going to add detail to the corners Sorry. They're a little bit fiddly. They're well worth it. I um I like to put one in the center of the um the folds. You can see here. That ran away just now, and there it is. Okay, completed card. Okay, so that's the cut, tuck, and fold technique. Thank you very much for viewing it, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.